guys, come on in. My name is Wade and welcome to my crop. I'm using the word crop because this is my crib and my workshop. So what we're standing in right now is a tailor-made tour van, which I drive on the PJ Golf Tour and I build and fit all the players or golf clubs. So we're standing in a 42 foot trailer. I like to call it the atrium, as you guys can see. We have beautiful sunlight coming in this two-story trailer which Craftsman Industries made for us out in St. Louis. So let's explain what we're standing in right now. Players like to get out of the heat, they like to come in. The guys don't mind sitting down, relaxing. We have four beautiful TVs in here. It looks like someone's already upstairs getting ready to play some PlayStation. So besides the seating area, we have all the drinks that the players may need. We have coffee, we have an ice machine. We have tons of snacks I stock up for the guys, so I figure out what sodas and snacks the guys like the best, and every time I go shopping, I make sure I get all the stuff that those guys need. So this here is all the waiting area. The players can sit down comfortably while I build their golf clubs. So let's go see where that happens. So back here in this work area, we're a self-contained work area that can build a golf club that you can hit in five minutes. I'm proud to say the TaylorMade trailer is the only trailer that can actually do that. What do we need to build a golf club? First of all, we need grips. So as you guys can see, what we store in this trailer is pretty much every grip imaginable out there in the market right now. Besides doing PJ Tour events, I also do some AJJ events and some LPJ Tour events. So I've got to make sure I cover the whole grounds of grips and grip sizes. So now that we got the grip taken care of, the next thing we need, of course, is a shaft. So I have all the vendors represented in this trailer, from True Temper to Fujikura to Mitsubishi. And as we can see, the latest and greatest shafts are in these. Some of these shafts are 20 bucks, some of these shafts are 800 to 1000 dollars and you can see some of these shafts, I have the players' names on. For example, those are Rory's, Rubber McIntyre. In a cool piece I like to show people in my crop is that this here is a custom Diamante version of Colin Morikawa shaft. And what they did after he won the British Open, they actually made five of these shafts that actually has his score from the week. So, ain't no one else going to have this shaft. So now that we have the shaft taken care of, now we got to get to the tailor-made side of it, which is going to be my build area, which is where we're going to keep all our tailor-made product. I'm just going to open up these drawers. This by far is the best crib shop crop that you're gonna find out here to build golf clubs. So as you can see, I've worked with phone companies to make sure everything sits in here nice and easy. So I don't want any of my product getting scratched. So we have everything that we offer right now at TaylorMade inside this trailer. We also finish it off with these beautiful weights right here. So I'm able to make a player a long club or a short club and still make it the weight that he's looking for because I have all these custom weights to do that with. For some reason, the player doesn't like the weights. He wants it to sound a little bit more quiet. What I can do here is I can use my hot melt gun, insert a little bit of this in the head, and what that's gonna do is gonna quiet the head down for the player. So that used to be a big thing in the past, but Taylor Me has gotten very good at really tuning in the acoustics of these. So the new Stealth product, unbelievable. Hardly using any hot melt at all. So here we have the wood section. Over here, this here is my iron section. So as you guys are gonna see, just like the wood section, whatever the wedges the guys are looking for. We have MG3s, we have high toe 2s. So we have many different bounces. Uh, these drawers get used a lot. Turf conditions, course to course, sometimes will vary. 
Uh, Colin carries four sixties in his bag, depending on the turf situation. So believe it or not, he does carry four wedges with him. So, and then we have, of course, all our different irons we're offering this year. Uh, you can see they're pretty empty. We've been kind of busy doing a lot of these. We also carry our Tiger Woods wedges. We have some custom wedges in here. Some for DJ, some for Sergio. We have some 64s for Dustin. We got some Rory's here. So these are stamped with their initials on it. Some guys like that. And then down here in the stash spot, we have our set of TWs. So I'm not sure who's going to have two sets of these on their truck. I know I am though. And then people always ask, well, what about grinding? Do you guys grind a lot of wedges? Out here in my shop, we don't grind a lot of wedges because the mill grind bounces are pretty precise on. But if we need to, what I have in here would be my custom grinding machine that I'm able to manipulate and change the bounce on a wedge if the player would like me to do that. I don't like doing it because it's dirty, as you can see. So I don't like cleaning this van too much. So let's step back here. We're going to get into the other section of this trailer. Uh, what we also have here, or we have our demo putter bags. Guys love to come in here, grab a putter. They're waiting for their clubs to get built. They're able to grab some. They're able to put it on the ground, waggle it a few times. And believe it or not, a lot of guys will find their putters strictly doing this right here, what I'm doing. So they'll see something in here that's, that they like, that catches their eye, and they'll be like, wow, I have to go try this. So that's why we have these two bags here. And then like someone like Wolf, this is one of his backup putters that we keep in the truck for him. Bags are full for the juniors this week. Okay, so let's get back here. This here is our locker room area. Uh, some of the players don't frequent the locker like they used to because it's so busy. So what we've done is we've actually incorporated lockers in our new trailer. So for example, Matthew Wolf's locker will hold a month's supply of his stuff. So sometimes he'll play the USA version pick, sometimes he'll just play the normal one. I have tees for him, I have his tailor-made gloves for him, and also I have his towel for him. So these guys are missing something, they need something. Every Monday we stuff their lockers, bada bing, bada boom, we're done. So you can see the names Dustin, Rory, Tiger, Fleetwood, Colin, Sergio. So not too many trailers can say they have these nameplates in them. I'm glad we do. And then if the spectators or the kids come in at a good time and catch me in a good mood, I have all these standard hats that I'm able to uh, make a kid's week by giving them a few hats. Now, we're gonna take you upstairs where the magic happens. Players love this room, they can get away. All we're gonna do is push this button. You're gonna follow me upstairs. And it looks like we already have one of our guys in here catching up on playing some football. So that's what this room is based on. It's kind of slow right now. So Corey's up here doing a little bit of football action, getting away from everything. Not on my way downstairs building golf clubs. He's up here enjoying himself in the AC, hanging out. I'm sure he wants to play me in football, but We'll have to see. Corey, how's it going up here? Oh, everything's great. Welcome everybody to the Team TaylorMade Invitational. Welcome to the TaylorMade Tour Truck. Uh, I've just been gearing up on some Madden, trying to get a little warmed up because I know some of the players here are going to want to beat me pretty bad at this game. But, you know, I just had the Broncos take down the Packers, so, you know, that's a win for me. Robbie's not going to like that. No, Robbie's not going to like that at all. Yeah, so this here is a great aspect. When the kids are here, let's say there's some rain going on. Kids love coming up here. I got the two controllers up here. Kids will sit down. You know, they'll, they'll go the rate delay by sitting up here and playing PlayStation. It's an absolute hit. The players come up here. They talk to their uh, sponsors. Uh, Jason Day likes to bring Dash up here and play a little bit of PlayStation. 
So it is a room that is well needed and well used. Not too many people can say they have two stories on their workshop trailer. I can, it's my crop, and thank you guys for visiting.